Michael Graham, mm -hmm. since this is getting close to Mother's Day, is there anything you'd like to share with the mothers regarding their personal relationship with God or their training, instruction they should be giving their children? Oh, yes. First of all, they must know the Lord as their personal Savior. Right. Then they must know that the Word is true. The Word says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are older, they will not depart. That means when your baby comes out of your womb, you begin to teach them. You begin to teach them about the word of God and what God, the way God wants them to live. God says, love one another. Right. You teach your children to love. First of all, you. Mm -hmm. You don't let them hit you. You don't let them talk back to you. You teach them to love and honor you. Because if they don't, they are shortening their lives. The, the word says that if you disobey or dishonor your mother and father, your life will be It'll shortened. shortened. So, and you know what else the word says? If you don't discipline your children, you don't love them. Mm -hmm. You hate them. Mm -hmm. And I see so many young mothers come in here. Oh, I, I just I just can't stand to see my child cry. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I just can't, I can't hit them or I can't spank them. Mm -hmm. You better do it. You sure better. You better do it now because while they're they, small. That's right. Because when they grow up, it's in them. It's hard to get out of them. Nothing's impossible with God. Right. But he told you from the beginning that's right. to train those to children. To train them. So don't let your children get away with things mm -hmm. early. Or right. uh, when a baby, is even uh, crawling and stuff, mm -hmm. tell them no. That's right. Most of these children haven't even heard the word no. <laughs> Say no, no. Mm -hmm. Spank those little hands that's right. and do that. So when you when they get older, you won't have to do nothing. Mm -mm. You All you have to do is say, no, and they'll stop. Mm -hmm. But if you let them think they're cute mm -hmm. and, and let them get away with stuff, mm -hmm. when they get older, you are not going to have good success with them. You're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. And I tell my mothers, I am Graham. I treat my mothers like they're my daughters. I treat their children like they're my grandchildren. Right. And so I tell them, some of them receive it and some don't. They say, Graham, just show me what to do, what to do. <laughs> and a lot of times at two and three, it's almost mm -hmm. where, you know, it, it, it takes a longer time. Right. Whereas if they had started mm -hmm. at the beginning, they wouldn't have had a problem. Right. But mothers, if you love your children, mm -hmm. discipline them. I don't care how cute they are. Right. Nothing, it is not cute to hit you, 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 you let allow your children to hit you. Mm -hmm. It's not cute to allow your children to say anything. That's right. It's not cute to allow your children to dishonor anybody mm -hmm. or disrespect anybody. Mm -hmm. So start from the beginning, teaching your children to honor their father and their mother, right. honoring their teachers. Mm -hmm. If their teacher tell you they've done something, you discipline that child. You don't say, Instead of siding with, with the, child. the child. I've seen that a lot, oh, too. Oh, yes. I have. You, don't, you, you have to get those, teach, the children know nothing. Mm -hmm. But what has happened is children have had children, mm -hmm. and they don't know anything either. Right. Right. So God has placed me here. Some of my mothers, they op with open arms, receive my uh, training, instruction. instruction. And I try to live a life where Pete, where my mothers will see, I don't just live one way here right. and, and go out in the world and live another one. Right. Certain things I refuse to do. I refuse to dress a certain way. Right. I refuse to talk a certain way. I refuse to go different places because I want my mothers or my and my fathers, my fathers while they are they they are awesome. <laughs> That's good. I have fathers who are taking care of children by themselves, mm -hmm. and they say, "Graham, okay, what to do?" Right. And I help. I say, you're in the right place. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of your child. I'm going to feed them good. Right. I'm going to uh, take care of them. Keep them safe from 6 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. to 6 in the evening. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that's a great that's, help. That is. That's half and, of and, and, and they, and they And a lot of them realize it. Now, that's I have right. a few that still disrespect me when I ask them to do something. Mm -hmm. They'll still do. Uh, they won't do what right. I ask them. But there are, most, the majority of my parents, mm -hmm. if I say something, they, Graham said, and then on top of that, the children go home and say, Graham, Graham said. <laughs> if they see their parents doing something that I said they're not to do, they'll, they'll come back and tell you. They'll, they'll, they'll <laughs> not only come back and tell me, but they'll tell their parents, mm -hmm. Graham said, don't, don't do, do that. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's a great responsibility on me, right. but I'm willing to sacrifice my life exactly. and live a life that is an example for these young mothers. That's right. And that's what we need. Yes. And it, it, that's in the Bible that, you know, we are supposed to be able to go to the elders. Yes. And elders are supposed to give good And I am an elder. <laughs> well, I am too. Um, but, you know, elders don't really mean of age ex no, experience. No, wisdom and wisdom. And wisdom right. and knowledge from God. Right. I you have the age and the wisdom. With God. Yeah. You walk with God. You walk with God. So it's just awesome because, yeah. you know, I still see... Um, people who may see children and, and they think they can't say anything because it's not really their children, but God has given I, us all. I have a problem like of that in the church, and right. I see children are, are not doing what they're supposed to do. Right. Quickly, I will tell them, you, you need to sit down. Right. You know, we're in church, you need to sit down. Exactly. And a lot of times people are afraid because mm -hmm. parents will get angry with the mm -hmm. person. But I, I just take that chance right. and say, okay, well, that's fine. I won't say anything right. else to your child. Right. But I did that time. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And so. it's all about relationships it is. It and is. tone of voice. And, and love. love. Right. You've love. got to walk in love. If you do it all in love. Yeah. And they know I, everybody know I love children. Exactly. So they know that I do everything in love. But I'm very uh, firm with children mm -hmm. to the point where I want them to do the right thing. Right. God's way. Well, I just thank you for this time. You're welcome. I thank share. you for the opportunity. I, I, well, uh, God told me that I would eventually have to tell my story, and I'm my. so glad I told it first with you. Well, I am too, because yes. a Rose TV is here. Yes. And I thank God and that I this pronounce door. a blessing upon your program. Thank you. And you will open doors for many people, and you will touch many hearts. And many people will come to Christ because of this program. In Jesus', In Jesus name. name. Thank you. You're welcome.